If you've been following this channel over the last month, you know that we've reported on Universal Kids breaking ground in Frisco, Texas, Universal Creative Executives touring the Port Aventura site in Spain, and now, because of the amazing reporting from Alicia Stella from Theme Park Stop, we know that Comcast has purchased land and has big plans for a one-of-a-kind theme park in England. Let's talk about that on That Park Place. I'm Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place. While the slow-moving Walt Disney Company takes themselves six years to build an exact replica of existing rides, we're seeing indications that Universal is planning to open up not only their next theme park, but the one after that and the one after that by 2030, just seven years away. What's more, according to reporting, the new Great British Theme Park Off will have unique attractions not found in the United States from uniquely British properties like 007 James Bond, Paddington Bear, and even my personal favorite, The Lord of the Rings. Let's get into it. This one, out of Orlando Park Stop, uh, that is Alicia Stella's uh, website, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this story by Alicia Stella, and there was a great video that was sent to me by many people. The first one being uh, Lou Wasserman's ghost here. Universal Studios Great Britain, possible location revealed for a UK theme park. Uh, it's already been updated. Uh, Universal has confirmed this. Uh, we're gonna talk about that more in a moment. Universal is planning a new theme park for the United Kingdom. After opening their newest resort and park in Beijing and now finishing up the upcoming Epic Universe theme park in Orlando, it seems like the company has set its sights on building its next full-scale theme park in England. Who's excited? Oh yeah. man, I I'm, this is this is most fascinating because people will know that well 20, 30 years ago, Universal did try this very same thing. It was actually in the Raynham Marshlands in Essex, located in East London. And they, you know, it was supposed to be uh, a theme park, studio, convention hall, hotels, over a billion euros were thought, thought to uh, thought to be invested in it. Margaret Thatcher said to be involved in getting that deal uh, Wow, that's done. a long time. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a long time. But it was a thousand acre site, unfortunately undone by conservationists and environmentalists environmentalists and uh, you know it, it's it, it didn't end up happening which really disappointed a lot of uh, UK uh, folks in particular because well that's one of the biggest markets for the uh, Orlando theme parks is from yeah, that that's, UK that's market. That's what I was going to say when, when Disney opened up in France one of the reasons was oh well we've within X number of hours of travel from every place in Europe including England but it was so expensive that people in England got better deals on combination charter flight tickets, hotels, everything to Orlando than right. they did from going across the channel to Paris. Right. And uh, we're, we're going to talk about why uh, some of the defensive moves that uh, are speculated about in here to keep people in Great Britain for this, but also keep that market coming over uh, to Orlando. Uh, speaking of experts on Orlando uh, here, uh, we do have a very special guest uh, joining the show. Uh, for the first time ever, I've never met this man before in my life, uh, and I will attest to that in a court of law. It is WDW Pro. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. It's Pro. Hey, Pro. How's it going? Oh, hey, Jonas. Uh, we talk all the time. <laughs> wow. Uh, several times is, a day. Wait, who is this guy? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. And sometimes people from major financial uh, papers reach out to me and want to know, hey, who is this WDW <laughs> Pro guy? <laughs> that is... That is actually true yes who was that masked man and i wanted to thank him hey, who who funds him and all i can say to that is viewers like you oh well, no. as you can see now i'm in costume so i shall oh, never yeah, be there known you go. That's uh, right. <laughs> so uh in leading up to this and again i want to i want to shout out alicia stella here on this and her team they did a oh. fantastic job uh we have uh, of course the domain registrations here for universal studios great britain and also i think also universal great britain mm -hmm. um they have and this she she is so good on her updates on uh, Epic Universe that are just the best. Uh, BioReconstruct does those pictures, and that's wonderful. But she goes and finds the patent applications, yes. the trademark applications, the building permits, and connects the dots in a way that nobody else is doing. I, I, I follow her stuff religiously. It's a community that kind of, you know, they aggregate all this information and provide it to you in these uh, uh, articles and videos. It's great stuff right there. Yep. Um, and uh, this right here, this $271 million associated with the acquisition of land for a pen for potential theme park opportunities. We know that one of those was Universal Kids. Uh, this over here, uh, 
being the Bedfordshire, sorry, Bedford uh, site. Uh, and we, we see here the uh, construction company that is owned by Comcast that has been set up in the UK. This is from the company's house website. I recognize that one because that's uh, where we go to find out how much Disney actually spent on their productions, despite <laughs> their posted budgets. Uh, see, uh, this uh, this development right here, you, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to move on to the next picture here. And by this the way, the all site. of this paid for by the Hulu purchase because yes. all oh, the money yeah. that Disney is paying to get that last third of Hulu easily covers the cost of all of these theme, these theme parks, which simultaneously are also tanking Disney's ability to dominate in the theme park industry because all of a sudden all of their intelligence has left and uh, head straight over to Universal where they're developing great things again, Disney now seemingly can't even keep the lights on. The Italian twinkle lights aren't working, Clark, at Epcot. <laughs> That's all because of the flight, not of a passage, the flight of uh, creatives out of Disney and over to Universal. Mm. You know, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is like the gift that keeps giving the whole year round, Clark. And the fact that <laughs> on this channel, we quote it all year round. Year you round. ready to do some kissing, Jonas? <laughs> um, I, I don't think it'll come to that. Uh, I wasn't talking to you. Did for Mr. Uh, Shirley. Proposals for the Bedford Business Park in 2018 show how this property may have been built. Uh, they were they were talking about building this out as a commercial space, which uh, I cannot imagine anything more boring than uh, a business space here. Uh, but uh, it looks like everything is in order in order to to build this um they are just starting on on this there are preliminary talks going on bash oh, no I, I was gonna say the, the property owner yeah they they had um they had it for sale as as late as april and that's when they they suddenly took it off but there and had the, been the, multiple plans uh cited for this the for great this, line um, that she brought out is that when they asked the i guess it's the mayor of bedford the town that this is in right he said we're going to be the center of the universe yeah hint, hint, mm -hmm. nudge nudge wink wink uh which is so brit you know they're <laughs> they love uh, language i i do love it and uh it, it, we'll, we'll talk about the political aspect here which uh it will be in my opinion pretty embarrassing to disney when you when you when you look at it uh but i want to say that what might be in this park rumors say that the new theme park could contain many indoor scenes and experiences this is how uh, universal studios beijing was designed with local weather concerns in mind it's right. a great thing considering uh the uk it rains uh, a lot rains yeah. it's, it's cold <laughs> uh that park contains uh, lands that are entirely indoors, like the Kung Fu Panda Land of Awesomeness and the Minion Super Silly Fun Land area. Um, the footage of that was uh, great. And also uh, the Jurassic World Adventure well, Dark Ride. Even before all of that, the, the glass roof over Main Street in Tokyo. Yes. For Disney. Or, yes. Uh, so there is a, also a rumor that this new park is being designed to not open with any cloned attractions from the Universal Studios Resort. Uh, sorry, the Universal Orlando Resort. I can't keep up with the names. Uh, it is assumed Does that include this... Epic Universe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think you're right. I think this is might. actually the clearest indication. Let me let me get to the other part of this sentence, and then we'll talk about what will definitely not be going into Epic Universe uh, because of it. Uh, Universal would be wise to create this new theme park with some unique attractions and experiences of its own, rumors for possible outside intellectual properties, or maybe not so uh, outside, depending on how deals go. The company may be attempting to acquire for this park include James Bond, Paddington Bear, and Lord of the Rings. All of a sudden, this is not a UK park that only the UK park people will want to go to. Uh, this right. is a park that I want to go to. If it, if it got James Bond and more specifically, uh, the Lord of the Rings. If they have the rights to the Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings, if they have any rights to the Lord of the Rings, I'm interested. But specifically, the Peter Jackson ones. Um, now, I don't think that they will do my proposed Shireland, where they just have a bunch of comfy chairs and a big buffet with uh, <laughs> cold chicken and pickles and uh, maybe a nice pipe. But, Second uh, breakfast right there. But they, Gandalf's fireworks would be great. But uh, and, I, I tell you what. I would love to be breakfast. able to go see those things uh, only if I can ride with Mr. Bean as my taxi driver to the location. That would be an adventure. Now, now uh, I don't know who owns the rights to Mr. Bean right now, but we have to... We have to get this petition started. That's right. right. Now. Bond and Bean. That is that has to be uh, adjacent. <laughs> well, uh, Atkins did the the spy spoofs, so uh, they could mix all that pretty easily. 
Now, uh, the the thing that I I do want to uh, before we move on, uh, just thoughts all around uh, culture. You've been uh, quiet for a moment. Uh, is this something that would interest you? Would bring you all the way to the UK, or is this uh, this is just something that you would admire from afar? I think he's dead. I think he's, he's dead. been taken away by the Christmas crickets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bash, yeah. you don't like theme parks. Uh, is this something that would take you all the way to London? London uh, town? I don't uh, I don't really like theme parks at all, actually. No, no. Uh, uh, no, this would... I mean, look, if you're talking about the ro- robust IP selection right there, being integrated and incorporated into this park, that would be absolutely phenomenal. And I do think uh, the idea of bringing maybe original ideas and plans to this theme park so that it doesn't as uh, Alicia Stella put it, cannibalize the business they have out in Orlando. I think that that'd be a good that'd be a good uh, a choice to be made there. However, we can presume that they're going to have a Harry Potter presence, for example. I mean, that's <laughs> that's something that you need to put and, in, the, in the UK and Nintendo. And how will it draw people who would have, with the only game in town being Disney, gone to Paris, go there instead from the rest of the continent, especially right. post Brexit? Well, I know how to draw in the fans. They need to put me in charge of merchandising if Bond is going to indeed be an IP that's heavily featured. Gun I can sale. already see the opportunity to uh, let the, the patrons purchase Harry Sean Connery chests that they can they can wear with pride. <laughs> not the not the Harry Potter robes, but the Harry James Bond Sean Connery oh, chest to really dig Zardoz? in. Oh, Zardoz? Zardoz? Zardoz, uh, uh, yeah. Who owns the rights yeah. to Zardoz? Get get that, get them on the was, line. That was uh, Borman. That's uh, I think it was a Warner Brothers show, wasn't it? Perfect. We need now, to sell tuxedos. That's got to be. That's, that's actually, yeah. Be part people of it, right? wandering around in tuxedos in the theme park. Uh, well, of course. <laughs> and you could you could you could uh, plan your day around it. You could start out with your Harry Potter, uh, your Gryffindor cloak, uh, closed up around, and then right. uh, uh, as the day moves on, you can uh, disrobe. Uh, you could take off your cloak, discloak. Let's say discloak because that's a different word there, and uh, be in your uh, James Bond paraphernalia, and then you relax in your nice comfy chair and uh, smoke a pipe, uh, <laughs> ten feet in a pipe. So, uh, w- one thing I want to point out here: Hollywood Reporter and Deadline, uh, they uh, out of the blue came out and started talking about this. There is no mention in here whatsoever of Alicia Stella or theme park stop. And no Suddenly, they're interested in this. theme parks. How about that? But they're not yeah. interested in citing the sources who deliver the goods. Right. And, uh, of course, uh, as they should, uh, Bedford Independent here with a story. Uh, breaking news, Universal Studios confirm they are planning a theme park in Bedford Borough. Uh, yeah, they are. Oh, but here they actually do cite Orlando Park Stop, uh, that they publish the financial records, details of land purchase, and further evidence by... Uh, that by 2030, by the way, yes, 2030, uh, the yes. only Universal Studios theme park in Europe could be right on our doorstep in Kempston Hardwick. Now, there is one line here that I I, I take some issue with. Uh, Vash, do you want to talk about that? Yeah. The only Universal theme park in Europe. Yeah, that 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 I definitely take uh, particular umbrage with because as we talked about before, a lot of people might be asking themselves, wait a minute, you guys were just talking about Spain. And it's like, yes, that's true. Wait a minute, uh, Bash. Are you telling us that Hulu money buys not one, not two, but maybe even three theme parks? Well, no more is... than that if you consider Fresno and, and Vegas and all of that. It is Fresno. a distinct possibility, and it may get Fresco. you into a new market for yourself in the form of a cruise line. Uh, the- and Barcelona is a cruise port and can be a bigger one. Oh, that's a good. That's a good. Mediterranean idea. cruises would work. But think about this, guys. Uh, we just have um, we just had uh, Kevin Lansbury, right, the interim CFO, and uh, Bob Iger talk about turbocharging the theme parks and how they want to go turbo, ahead. And turbo. We're going to well, invest in our theme park properties, right? And, but oh, they they with an asterisk. It's going to be on the latter half. So well, if we're, Flash, what they were talking about is turning on all the lights at Epcot one day. They're going to try it. Just wait. <laughs> yes. That's the turbo. Once, once yes. they get those solar panels working, you bet. So I, if we look on the oh go ahead culture. no please no please if we work on the timeline right there that would put us at what 2028 and then maybe okay we'll go ahead and we'll invest uh, into into big theme park properties well working on that time scale I mean when Disney starts a project it can go for as little as three years or as many as seven years 
Universal is talking about getting a theme park built open, inviting guests in 2030. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What's your favorite possibility for this new Universal Great Britain theme park? That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or is this just another pipe dream like the now stalled London Resort? You tell us because we would love to know. This clip was part of our now regular Thursday live stream, which starts at noon Eastern time. Of course, if you're not in that time zone, just hit the notification bell if you want YouTube to tell you when that is. Like this video if you like this video. If you know somebody who is as interested as we are in this kind of thing, then maybe you should share the link with them. And of course, please consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.